Good morning, everybody. I hope you're fantastically well. I hope you've got your coffee, your tea, your wine, wherever, whenever you are on this beautiful place that we call planet earth guys if you want to get some merchandise as well i've not said it in the past couple of videos and i need to because people who constantly ask me you can get it in the description below we've got rafinha special one lead stuff and before the video starts guys if you haven't liked comment and subscribe what are you doing 45.5 percent of you are not subscribed you watch my videos criminal let's get into it anyway noah lang Le uh, Leeds United are interested and apparently are in talks and as soon as the transfer window opens things are gonna start moving according to the Daily Mail. Ajax do want to cash in and apparently Noah Lang is looking to move on. Sounds like it can makes complete sense for Leeds United, makes complete sense for Ajax. I don't think he's going to replace Jack Harrison if I'm honest, I think he's going to be another sort of backup for him. Yeah, and when I say another backup for him, we've got backups in terms of wingers of, with the likes of Somerville, haven't we? And I, I, I yeah, and, and obviously Helder Costa. I just can't see him getting into this starting lineup. You know, if you don't know anything about Nolan, go check him out. He's very good, very versatile, gets a lot of goals. I just don't know if he's going to come in and replace Jackie Harrison. I don't see it. Cheers, by the way. So there you go. Uh, we don't know what's going on with Noah Lang in terms of where he would fit in the in the puzzle, in the jigsaw, that is the Leeds United starting eleven. but it would be a very good addition and a little bit of depth. We need depth, we need depth out wide, we need a depth in an, in an offensive capacity, of course. We always need that. And I think Leeds do need to strengthen out wide 100%. You look at the players that we've got out wide, Somerville, Costa. Somerville, I think, is going to be a great player. Costa, I, I don't think he, he should really be at Leeds next season. Get it in the comment section below. Would you keep hold of Helder Costa? So I think maybe some some more depth out, out wide is, is really needed for Leeds United. Um, OK, so we're going to figure out about Calvin Phillips today. If he is good, indeed going to be in the England squad at 1pm. So far, we've got Cock, Coops, Click, Alioski. And yesterday, Roberts was in. But the fantastic news was Diego Llorente at centre-back. And guess who wasn't? at centre-back. That's right, everybody. Sergio Ramos. Luis Enrique has got Llorente in there. He's got Eric Garcia in there, but he hasn't got Ramos. And that is so funny to see. <laughs> this guy is the staple of Spanish football over the past 10, 15 years. And our Diego's in there ahead of him. And he seems like he's very, very favoured in the Spanish lineup. And you can see exactly why, can't you? Magnificent player. Someone who's changed leads fortunes on a, on a ridiculous level and unfortunately Rodrigo hasn't got in which I did find quite confusing because listen I know we talk about how players done over a season but when you look at Rodrigo's form you know I mean he's got what has he got one assist a couple of assists and, and scored four in his last four I mean it's not bad is it it's not too bad when you're looking at end of season season form and all those goals have come from him playing up front as well so yeah bit bizarre that he hasn't got in there because he sort of played himself in there um Spain aren't aren't known really for having a lot of striker depth at this moment in time in the modern era so yeah it's a bit, that was a bit bizarre but so uh so kudos to, to everybody who did get in um Brennan Johnson a name you might not have heard of now league one uh playoffs Lincoln against Sunderland two-legged affair Brennan Johnson a 20 year old let me set the scene for you 20 year old from Nottingham Forest playing on the wing against I think it was Lyndon Gooch for Sunderland an experienced uh, an experienced lad at the back Brennan Johnson just tears him up for two legs a very very good player 47 appearances 13 assists 13 goals apparently Leeds and Brentford have always had interest. Apparently Leeds specifically are looking at Brennan Johnson. Now he looks like a real, real player. Very, very good player. We know Nottingham Forest have produced youth talents in the past, but this kid looks the real deal. Only 20 years old, as I said. He's coming back from Lincoln to Nottingham Forest. And yeah, it'd be very nice to get on the books, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, another winger, left winger, can play on the right. Very tricky as I said, I mean, those stats don't lie. Looks like a very, very exciting talent and someone who apparently Leeds United are definitely keeping tabs on. So it's worth worth keeping that one, um, you know, on, on, on the forefront of your minds, really. We've seen players come from the lower divisions before and do, and do extremely well. Jermaine Beckford, Jamie Vardy stick out as a couple. Um, yeah, next news, guys. The one that you've all clicked on this video uh, to, to talk about, really. Romain Perot, Stad Brest. I think he's going to be Leeds' new left-back. 
I think he's the number one priority list, uh, the priority on the list. I think there's a lot of talk around this kid. There's a lot of publications that are backing the fact that Leeds are in for him. Um, and there is a publication, well, there's two publications that have come out today uh, and, and, and comparably said that as soon as the window is open, Leeds United are looking to get the pen on the paper, there we go, and sign Roma Perot. Um, yeah, they're very extremely confident of sealing the deal. There's been encouraging talks, apparently, between Victor Orta and Roma Perot's representatives, uh, his agent. So, yeah, I mean, I, I see that as, excuse me, I see that as one we're going to get done. A, a real, real world-class left-back. Someone who fits our mould. I've done a, a player profile video on him, guys. If you are a new subscriber, go and check it out. I know, I know uh, the OGs will have seen it, but a real, real talent. Very quick up and down the wings. Defensively strong. Acts as a left-winger, really, which we see from Alioski. He has, he has a lot of similarities to Alioski. The difference is, the big differential is it's the step-up in quality, I think. And, you know, he has played at the top level in Ligue 1. And... I really think, you know, they've got two players there who, who Leeds are reportedly interested in as well with Roma Favre. And yeah, I, I just see Perot fitting exactly what Bielsa wants as a left back. A good price, a really good price. You know, Stad Brest haven't done well this season, which helps the economic standpoint from a Leeds United point of view. And yeah, I just see this one as getting done. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you would like to see Romain Perot in a lead shirt. But some of the highlights, he's got goals from left back as well. Some big goals as well for Stad Brest, scoring against some top teams in Liga. The assists are unbelievable. And this is where we can facilitate Patrick Bamford. This is what I want to happen next year. A lot of people are talking about Patrick Bamford dropping off next year. Well, if we get the players in and around him, you know, we're talking about a world-class central attacking midfielder. We're talking about a world-class left back who, as we know, for Leeds United contributes the goals so much. And, you know, if we're getting depth out wide as well, then that's only going to help us in the final stages of these critical matches when we need to get quality in the final third. And I, I just think this one makes complete sense. Let me know in the comment section below exactly what you think. Um, yesterday, there was an open letter from Rad Razzani. Um, and once again, he's teasing Europe. He continues to talk about Europe. And obviously with the Australian Lowy coming on uh, to the board, who's worth £4.2 billion, um, uh, Leeds really are going to be flirting with it for me these next couple of years. Obviously, it hinges on the transfer window. Don't get me wrong. It, it massively hinges on what Leeds United are going to do, how we're going to do it, where we're going to do it positionally. And yeah, what Rad's essentially saying, why not have the dream of returning to Europe very soon? So everything's in place for Leeds United now. As I keep saying on these videos, we're on an upward trajectory. We know exactly what we want. We know exactly how to get it, in my opinion. Victor Orta was talking last night about all the staff and behind the scenes and exactly what is going on at Leeds United in terms of support, in terms of that, as I've just said, that family feel. And every, everything just feels like it's going in the right direction for Leeds United. And someone like this Australian coming in, this billionaire, I mean, why would Leeds bring him in if they weren't looking to make some serious changes and, and essentially cause some serious damage in the transfer window this summer? I think it's going to be a huge summer for Leeds United, a really big one. And let's be right, guys, we've not seen a full season of our new signings anyway. Llorente, Cock, Rodrigo, Rafinha even. We've not seen a full a full trans, uh, sorry, a full season. You know, the max has really been four or five months and that's where we've seen the turnaround in form. So, all positives. Now, I wanted to talk about this as well. Now, this is the top 10 spending of all of all clubs in the past 10 years. Now, normally what that does is it reflects where the club's position is really. You know, Manchester City have spent 1.5 billion in the last 10 years. Chelsea have spent 1.2 billion. Man United have spent 1.24 billion. Liverpool have spent 990 million. As you can normally tell, it reflects where they are. You know, the top four are the top four for a reason. They're money juggernauts. And that's why, what, what you know, Leicester potentially breaking into the top four, which they didn't in the end, or West Ham breaking into the top four is such a, an unbelievable feat. And, it, and it, you know, this is this is what's going to have to happen to Leeds. It would be an unbelievable feat for us to get anywhere near that just because of the actual expenditure of these top clubs and, and, and how vast it is. Now, the interesting comparison that I wanted to touch on is, you know, you look at Aston Villa, for example, they're 10th for the highest spend, the highest expenditure over the past 10 years. So they're 10th. So that's, I think it averages to 15.8 million a season for Aston Villa. Obviously, they've been in the top flight longer than Leeds United in the past 16, 10, 16 years. But Leeds are 27th. 
So as I've just said with Villa, Villa are 10th and they finished 11th. So 10th in expenditure, finished 11th in the table. That reflects, that's a good, that's a good outcome. Leeds are 27th. And we finished ninth. And I want to end it there, guys, because it just shows what an incredible job our men are doing at the top. What they are doing, how we're building, how we're growing. And I want to leave it there, guys. But what an, what an unbelievable feat it's been for Leeds United. What an incredible season. Um, and I can't wait for this transfer window to start because it's going to pop. It's going to pop. And Leeds United are going to make some serious acquisitions. Guys, if you haven't already, please make sure you like the video. Uh, these videos do take quite a while on the morning. It's like a lot of research, the thumbnails, etc., etc. Like you know me for a YouTube video, but I put it in because I want to talk to you. I want this community feel, this interactive feel. So if you wouldn't mind doing me a solid and liking the videos I've just said, comment. Let me know exactly what you think. Roma Perot, is he the man for you? Alioski, would you offer him, an, him a new contract? Should Calvin Phillips get into the England squad today? What your thoughts on Diego Llorente replacing Sergio Ramos. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Have a good day, and I'll see you in a bit. Cheers.